what's up guys so uh i'm re-recording this because i i misplaced the one i did in the first place but uh so this video is going to be about uh grocery shopping in china how that is and i'm going to take you through a grocery store called spar um this is for a subscriber of ours uh sorry if i butcher your name man uh rini moreda he is a teacher in Mexico and is going to be moving here in August. So, uh, this video is for you, man. Um, so, I'm just going to be showing you the, the store, talking to you about some prices and whatnot. Um, now, how I get there, you did ask about transportation, how I get there. Um, me personally, now I, I use an e bike. It's cheap to buy, it's really convenient. Um, and you don't got to wait around. Uh, before that, if. We have a store close to where I live now, but for a while there wasn't. So before that, I would take a taxi down to the city center, go to Walmart, whatever, buy my stuff, taxi back. You could also take a bus, but buses are crowded, and I don't really like crowded buses, especially when you got a bunch of groceries with you. So I just take cabs. Cabs here are really cheap, so don't be worried about the price. But uh, if you're going to move to China, especially a smaller city like Jinan or something, e-bike's a great investment. They're cheap. Just really convenient. Um, so yeah, and I did also ask about a vegan or Buddhist restaurant. There's one one Buddhist restaurant I know about here. It's by uh, closer to where Eric lives, by Ten Thousand Buddha Mountain or Thousand Buddha Mountain. Sorry, Thousand Buddha Mountain. Uh, and it's their restaurant. It's it's I think it's vegan or vegetarian. I'm not too sure, but it's Buddhist. So uh, yeah, there's no meat or nothing. And the food is actually really good. Other than that, there are a few other random vegetarian spots here and there. I do know a few vegetarian people, so there there are some restaurants here. But the the one that, that's the only one that I've been to and tried the food was the Buddhist one. It was really good. Uh, they have a lot of like fake meat dishes, but still tasted real good. So, uh, yeah. So, we'll get right into the video. All right. So we're in the grocery store. This place is called Spar. Um, well, they moved everything. Pretty nice grocery store. Uh, has a bunch of good stuff here. And it's right in Sunshine 100 Plaza. Things here, pretty fairly reasonably priced. Hold on, they moved everything. I gotta find out where everything is. <laughs> yeah, sorry about the cutout. I, uh, came in here and they literally just moved the whole thing around. Everything fuck, switched around on me, so kind of looking around right now. I don't know where my coconut water went. That's all right. But anyways, back on topic here. Pricing is pretty good here. I mean, pretty much everything here is cheaper than it would be in the states. Um, like we got chicken breast sitting out here, six. So it's seven, seven kwai a pound. That's that's one dollar a pound for chicken breast. That's that's a lot. I'm pretty sure it's cheaper than what I can get back in the states. Uh, Meat prices are okay. Beef, beef is gonna be like expensive and harder to get good quality. But uh, everything else you can get. I'm gonna get some smoked salmon, fish. Oh wait, where's my? Man, they move those too. They they have Arizonas here, or they did, but they're gone. All of them. I don't know if they just moved them or what. I got these little orange juices here. Zumasol. They say that they have some import stuff. This is Zumasol. I think it's Spanish. España, Spain. Yeah, Spanish. So I get some of these juices. They're good. Uh, a little anything imported is always going to cost more than a Chinese counterpart, but it's all right. It's good. I like this stuff. It's better, in my opinion. Um, yeah, that's, that's it. I'll give you some looks here of the store in a minute. Here's a quick shot of the store. I'm here at this fish. I'm going to buy some fish. For one pound, it is about two dollars a pound. Some white fish here. Not quite sure what kind it is. A lot of stuff isn't going to have English, so uh, you're going to just kind of have to figure it out, but it's all right. Some smoked, picking up some smoked salmon, about five packs of that. 
Uh, that's all right price. It's well, that was a little blurry. Sorry, guys. Uh, it's like four dollars a pack for a hundred gram smoked salmon, so it's not too bad. All right, I just got back. Um, sorry, I couldn't record more in there. It was so crowded and uh, it's kind of like hard to navigate a cart here and move through the crowds of people. So. Uh, yeah, I think I covered most stuff. Any other questions, let me know, but it's pretty good here. It's cheap. I just bought, like, I could, I could show you what I bought, actually. Again, I don't know what kind of whitefish this is. Some kind of whitefish, but two big fillets of it, 20 quai, and dollar amounts. That's like, that's less than $3. And the smoked salmon, I show you that. And I did buy a big thing of shrimp. This is a hundred quai. And it's like it's like three a little over three pounds, I guess. So hundred quai is uh what is that? What is that? Twelve, thirteen dollars or something for three pounds of shrimp. It's it's actually good, I've had it before. Um Oh, uh, that's, that's cheap. Uh, and then I bought a bunch of juices. That's, you know, that's really about it. I don't really eat too, too much diversity. Now, if I get the chicken breast, that's cheap. Beef there is like, I think it's 60 quite a pound. It's like uh, $9 a pound maybe or something. So, that stuff's more expensive. Pork is cheap. But, uh, they got a okay amount of stuff. They're not going to have cereal and Pop-Tarts and all the stuff you're used to back home, but it's all right. Um, so yeah, that's about it. Any other questions, comments, or anything? Leave them down there and we'll answer them for you, okay? Peace.